In town, they tell the story of the Marsh Girl, the one who grew up alone in the wild. The haunting new movie Where the Crawdads Sing is a murder mystery set in the South. The prosecution has announced it will seek the death penalty. Now, a real-life murder mystery is casting a shadow of suspicion over the woman who wrote the number one best-selling book. Delia Owen spent 20 years working in Africa with elephants and other endangered species, along with her husband, Mark. This is Turning Point. In 1996, ABC News chronicled the couple's attempt to combat elephant poaching. Okay, you find that route, you backtrack it into the hills, and you set up an ambush there, huh? They captured this disturbing video in which a suspected poacher is shot and killed. The bodies of the poachers are often left where they fall for the animals to eat. Now, The Atlantic Magazine reports that Delia Owens is wanted for questioning as a possible witness, co-conspirator, and accessory in the murder. The magazine claims her husband actually wrote a letter describing killing poachers. Two poachers have been killed and one wounded that I know of thus far, and we are just getting warmed up. Nigel Smith is movies editor of People, which has also covered the story. Shortly after the killing, uh, Delia and her ex-husband moved away from Africa to Idaho, a very remote part of Idaho, and basically kind of fled the scene, if you will. So you have to come to my horse farm. Reese Witherspoon fell in love with Owen's novel and produced the movie. The murder investigation was dormant for decades, but the success of the book and now the movie have put a spotlight on the case. I don't think this is the last we're going to be hearing from this because Delia Owens is in the spotlight in such a huge way. In 2020, the author said, quote, I had nothing to do with the terrible event.